Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is JT from Bob Below the Belt. I want to talk about Devi Haney versus Zolis Sandy, Endor Gandhi, uh, the South African. Um, well, Devi Haney's 20 and the South African's 28 years old. Um, and um, it was an interesting fight, you know, but it, I, I don't think this was one. I don't think this was Devin Haney's best fight. I think his best fight was uh, fighting um, Juan Burgos. And uh, Mason um, 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 Menard, yeah. So I mean, you know, what I'm saying this wasn't his best fight. Uh, he uh, it started off kind of slow. Of course, uh, Devin Haney's trying to figure each out. Uh, figure uh, they both were trying to figure each other out the first round. But Devin Haney, uh, I think, uh, n not think, but he dropped him in the I think the third round. I'm thinking, if I'm not mistaken, uh, he dropped him in the um. Um, the third round, and uh, I think he was kind of off balance a little bit too at the same time. But he did hit him flush too at the same time, so that probably helped him to knock him, knock, knock him down. But he got back up. The South African got back up, and um, and all through the fight, he uh, Devin Haney, Devin Haney was uh hitting him in the uh, body, but he wasn't fighting his normal fight. He usually moved. He used. A lot of people say he moves a lot, and I would I would agree with that. He don't need to uh, move a lot. It depends what kind of opponent he's fighting. And this opponent that he's facing, uh, the South African, I, he he uh, he definitely didn't have to move at all. To to you know what I'm saying? Uh, he was standing in the pocket. He was uh, banging with him, uh, hitting him in the body, hurting him to the body too. At the same time, Debbie Haney was hurting the uh, South African to the body, and um, and uh, I thought he was gonna get him out. I thought he was gonna get him out of there, but he didn't. Uh, but the thing about it is, uh, he was fighting. He was normally he normally he normally don't fight like this, stand in the pocket. He can stand in the pocket and bang with you, but it depends what, what fighter it is at the same time. And I think he did his homework on this uh, uh, fighter, and um, and uh, he didn't have to, he didn't do he didn't he didn't have to do too much movement. He probably didn't have to do too much movement uh, fighting uh, uh, Mason uh, Menard, but he did, and he was very impressive in that. And the uh, Juan Carlos Burgos fight um he could um he almost got uh a bar uh Juan Carlos Burgos out of there but he he went to, to, to the, the whole rounds the whole I think the 10th for the 12th round whatever and uh and uh Mason they stopped the fight the corner stopped it stopped that fight because he was making uh dude miss a lot but in this fight uh uh, the South Africa is making uh, Devin Haney miss a lot too. The same time when I seen he was not fighting a not fighting a fight that he usually fight. Um, you know, so I guess he wanted to try something out new. Uh, Devin Haney, um, he's just standing in the pocket. He was hitting him in the body, then, but he was but at the same time, uh, the South Africa is making him miss a lot too. And um, like I said, but you know, uh, ain't nothing ain't nothing wrong with trying something new. But he was not. I was not impressed in this fight. Um, I think he he, he won the knockout. I guess uh you know uh uh you know him have him got 13 uh 13 knockouts and 21 wins now or 20 wins before he came in the fight. Uh he just really won a knockout because he wanted to really you know say see do he, uh do he got the man power, do he got his man strength cuz uh uh Shakur Stevenson uh I think he uh got his man strength now and uh um Lo, um, who's the other fighter? Um, um, who's that? Three, 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 uh, uh, I forgot dude's name. The, the Hondurans uh, dude. He got his man strength already too. So he's looking at everybody else uh, knocking out people and he's not. But at the same time, I say David Haney, man, look, stick to what you do. Uh, it's going to come. Just be patient. Uh, don't let it, don't rush it. Don't force it. Uh, it don't come that way. Um, at the same time, um, he need. Uh, Devin Henney needs to know how to finish people off, but maybe that got something to do with him not having man strength too at the same time. Maybe, maybe, you know, one thing is you never thought about this. Maybe he might, this might be just who he is. He might not, he might not have knockout power. He, he might just be a, 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 he's a real skilled fighter. I mean, uh, and, uh, I mean, a knockout come when it, when it comes, but, you, I, I don't think he ever had a knockout power. I don't think, but of course you can break him, break the opponent down and knock him out. You know what I'm saying? He go. I think he always have that, but having a one knockout power, that's just not gonna. I don't think he. Ha, I don't think he ever have that. But you never know. 
But but the fight was I was not impressed by the fight. Uh I was impressed by the other fights and uh we're gonna see what is whose next opponent is gonna be. And this fighter, the South African, I didn't know who he is. Um, you know what I'm saying? They ranked him third or something like that. I'm looking like, who is he? You know what I'm saying? And um this was no competition. Um uh, and then Debbie, Debbie Haney was walking him down. That's something that he really does. That he, that's something he really doesn't do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he let the people come to him. You gotta follow. You gotta follow him around. And but Debbie Haney was. It was totally the opposite. He was uh, walking down to uh, South Africa because he he just felt like the South Africa was no threat. You know what I'm saying? That's the only reason why you would do it. Um, and then of course he was trying something new. Like like I said. So. Um, but I want to see who's the next opponent going to be. Hopefully, he said he's ready to. Uh, he want to be a contender. He don't want to be no. Pro he don't want to be no prospect no more. But at the same time, I mean, uh, this don't be patient, man. Don't force it. Like I said, you know, what I'm saying I say to any other professional fighter out there, young or pro in the prospect of a uh, level or whatever, uh, you know, because I know he said he got over twenty some uh, fights. But at the same time, you still, you you still need to work on some things, man. And you know, say so, then you got like. I know he was trying. To, I, I know he was trying to try. He was trying something new, but I think you need to stick to your old um, uh, way of fighting. Uh, is moving around. Don't move around a lot, but just move around. But if you got to move around a lot, it depends on what fighter it is. You know what I'm saying? So, but what do y'all guys think about the fight between him and um, the South African? Um, now, who you think he should fight next? Leave a comment at the bottom of my page. Subscribe to my page. Like my page. Hit the bell icon for new notifications, new videos from me. This is JT from Bubble Little Belt. Bye bye.